question was presented to me one time, just what the hell is hell? So I wrote a poem by that title, Just What the Hell is Hell? Here we go. There once was a time t'was plain to see just what the hell hell was meant to be. But then the theologians got into the act and hell no longer was a simple fact. Hell formerly was a dark hidden space imperceivable, covered, a true hiding place. It could be a place as crude as a shed, or could be a helmet to cover your head. Smoochers and kissers oft needed a hell, for hidden in darkness no one could tell. Hall, hole, a hull come from the same root, along with a heel to cover a boot. Too simple, so theologians once said, and now from their scheming, confusion has spread. They hired the Dantes and Michelangelos to paint pretty pictures of many great woes. Fire and torment with much superstition was added to pagan mythology and fiction. The goddess of hell from Norse mythology became Satan, hero of most eschatology. Jesus, the Savior, deliverer of mankind, he came not for few but for all men to find. His portion became a rather small lot, while most of mankind in hellfire would rot. The way to this hell became broad and wide. The gift of God's grace was at its low tide. Clothes, creeds, and days, the right denomination became the sole means, the way to salvation. Gehenna, Hades, Tartaru, and Sheol, all became places that could swallow your soul. Preachers now had us right where they wanted. Obey us or to hell with you, they often taunted. Countless denominations of devilish preachers forsook the gift and became Satan's teachers. Thousands of ways of deliverance from hell, in common they all have a self-righteous smell. Finished, he cried, I will draw all mankind, the Father's desire all saved in his mind. The task he was given, he accomplished it all, and as his witness, he commissioned St. Paul. Paul's gospel was different, it's easy to tell, because never once did he use the word hell. So hell is no more. It's really becoming a bore. It's taking its place along common folklore. Punish he will. Our Father is just. In age-long correction, you surely can trust. But on vindictive torment, our Father's not bent. My dear reader, mercy will triumph over judgment. And that's my little poem, Just What the Hell is Hell? Now you know. <laughs>